Ladies and gentlemen, the Nintendo Switch has so many amazing games, and you probably know some of the most popular ones, but some of the greatest games are kind of unknown. In this video, we're going to go over 10 must-play hidden gems, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So the Switch has so many amazing games, and like I previously mentioned, you probably know a lot of them because a lot of them are popular, but one area where the Switch really shines is in the hidden gems department. So I have handpicked 10 hidden gems that you probably have never even heard of. Before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, and let's just go ahead and get right into this video. So the first hidden gem we're talking about today is called Berserk Boy. In this game you will go berserk as you change into different forms and use the power of lightning, fire, ice, air, and earth to save the planet from the evil Dr. Genos. In the distant future, a mad scientist and his army of darkness seek to enslave the people of Earth. Hope for all humanity rests with the resistance. Enter Kai, a rookie hero who is transformed by a mysterious orb energy into Berserk Boy. With high speed action and the power to defeat evil, you will face off against a diabolical Dr. Genos and his army of dark energy minions. So right off the bat, this game reminds me of a couple games, maybe like Freedom Planet and Sonic or Mega Man. But that's not a bad thing at all. I think it mashes all of those together perfectly, and it's just a great adventure. If you enjoy any of those games, you're probably going to enjoy this. Or if you just enjoy great games in general, you're probably going to enjoy this, so definitely check this one out. The next game we're talking about today is called Lil Guardsman. In this adventure, you will play as Lil, an unlikely 12-year-old hero, covering your dad's shift at the guard shed, and are tasked with deciding the fate of over 100 unique characters. So, if people are trying to come into the kingdom, it's up to you. You will question humans, elves, goblins, cyclopses, and other fantasy creatures using your power of deduction to determine who to admit or deny based on how they respond to your questions and your trusty tools. Sending visitors to jail, inadvertently zapping them to smithereens, or letting them go on their merry way are all part of the job. But be very careful. Who you let through the castle gates will determine the kingdom's fate. Games like this are very, very special because they truly are a dime a dozen and you really get invested into all the characters and you feel like you're a part of the actual story. So I definitely hope you'll check this one out. The next game we're talking about today is called Genesis Noir. In this game you play as No Man, a watch peddler caught in a love triangle with other cosmic beings, Miss Mass and Golden Boy. When your affair turns into a bitter confrontation, you will witness a gunshot fired by a jealous god, otherwise known as the Big Bang. Jump into the expanding universe and search for a way to prevent and destroy creation to save your love. So on the surface level, this is a point and click adventure. But please do not be pushed away by that. This is more than that. This is truly an experience and it's a magical one at that. The whole concept and plot of this game is truly remarkable. It gets very deep, funny, charming, witty. It truly invokes a lot of emotion. So give this one a chance and check it out. Really, check out every game that you can because games are just amazing. But they are getting very expensive. But I think I may have a solution for that. We just need some help from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by InstantGaming.com. InstantGaming.com is an amazing website. Because if you're like me, you love saving money on games, but not just Switch games. What if you could save money on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PC, and every game that was ever created? Well, that's what you can do at instantgaming.com. So down below is my affiliate link. Use that to save some money on some games. But guess what? It gets even better. This company is so cool that they're going to allow my community to participate in a giveaway every single month and whoever wins the giveaway will have their name put up on the website and you'll be able to pick any game that you want for absolutely free. So there's also a giveaway link down below as well. Thanks to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video and let's go ahead and get right back into it. So the next game we're talking about today is called Jack Move. Jack Move is a JRPG that features a unique blend of gritty cyberpunk storytelling, turn-based battles, and beautiful modern pixel art. Take on the role of Noah a vigilante hacker who is thrust into a world of murder, kidnapping, and dark research after her father goes missing. I could sit here and explain a million things about this game, but do I really need to? Look at the gameplay, look at the setting, look at the graphics, listen to the description that I just gave you. That checks every single box for me immediately. When a game like this comes around, I instantly get excited. This is a hidden gem on the Switch, but it shouldn't be. Everybody should know about Jack Move. So the next game we're talking about today is called Miss Splosion Man. Bigger, badder, and prettier. When Splosion Man is captured by the evil corporation known as Big Science, 
it's up to Miss Splosion Man to save the day. This is a sequel to the original Splosion Man, but in this game they took it a step further. Not only is there 50 single player levels, there's an additional 50 completely unique multiplayer levels, so you can play with friends and family locally or online. For some reason games like this make me very happy because they don't take themselves too serious and what they are on the surface level is just a really fun adventure. They don't claim to be groundbreaking or the next biggest and best thing, they're just a fun time. And in my opinion that is the essence of gaming and I think that's missing in the current gaming ethos. Definitely check this game out. Now let's talk about Sparklight. Sparklight is an action adventure set in the whimsical and ever changing land of Geodia. Battle foes and top down action using arsenal of gadgets, guns and gear. Explore dangerous corners of a procedurally generated world. Take down titans in the mining industry and harness the power of Sparklight. If you've been a fan of this channel for a while you'll know that any pixelated game for some reason I just absolutely love and I absolutely love the graphics and art style on this. So even though this game is a hidden gem, once I learned about it, I couldn't figure out why. Because it checks almost every box in a game that you would want. So if you get a chance, definitely check out Sparklight. The next hidden gem we're talking about today is called Nuclear Blaze. Nuclear Blaze is a dynamic 2D action game in which a player plays as a firefighter airdropped into the middle of a mysterious burning facility. This is business as usual for a highly trained and experienced firefighter such as yourself. Your main mission objectives are to contain the fire, investigate its causes, and look for survivors. So I feel like this almost falls under the category of a metroidvania, but instead of like fighting people or enemies, you're a firefighter, and I think that's amazing. If I'm not mistaken, there was like a firefighter game I believe on the Super Nintendo. I can't remember the name of it, but I always enjoyed playing it, and I always wondered why there wasn't more firefighter games. But regardless, this game is on the Switch, and you should definitely check it out. The next game we're talking about today is called Caldrius Blaze. So I'm not sure exactly what these games are called, I think they're called like bullet shooters or something like that. And you may think, yeah, that's definitely not for me. And to be honest, I always thought the same thing, but it turns out, I just hadn't played the right one yet. This is a game that's going to challenge you to get a little bit out of your comfort zone, and maybe play something that you normally wouldn't play. There's a lot going on here, and the game is pretty in depth. And it's actually a lot of fun. I really like the style that they went with, with like the graphics and the animation, and it kind of keeps you engaged. So even though this isn't something you would normally play, I still think it's worth giving a chance. So the next game in this video isn't a hidden gem because I didn't know about it per se. It's because I didn't know it was on the Switch. Because I remember playing this on my GameCube like a long time ago. But it turns out there's an updated version, and it is on the Switch. So we need to talk about it. And I'm talking about Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy is an original third-person action-adventure inspired by the mythology of ancient Egypt. Traveling the world via magical portals to foil the evil plans of Set, Sphinx's journey will require all his wits, agility, and special powers. He will also rely on his reluctant hero friend, the Mummy, to help when being inconspicuous is the only solution. By finding the stolen magical crowns of Egypt, Sphinx can stop Set and save the world. Do you remember back in the day when you would just play a game and have fun? You didn't even know what most games were. You would play any game that you got, and every now and then, there would be one that you would fall in love with. That's exactly the feeling you're going to get from playing this. Um, it's been updated with HD graphics and I'm sure some other stuff as well. And it's just one of those games you're going to find very charming. And it's going to remind you of what games used to be before everything was loot boxes and subscriptions and online only. So if you get the chance, definitely check out Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. The last game we're talking about today is called Samire. Samire is an indie narrative adventure, featuring a one day journey through a picturesque Japanese village. In this enchanted place, a disenchanted girl named Samire meets a mischievous spirit, who makes her a deal to fulfill her most desired wish. But in order to see this wish come true, she must complete a series of tasks in return, before night falls and the day is over. You will take on quests both big and small, given by charming forest creatures quirky townspeople, and you will fulfill your own heartfelt needs. But remember you can either take or refuse a quest, because your path will change depending on what you pick. And to be honest, to sum it all up, this game is absolutely special. It has such a warm feeling, but it gets kind of dark and deep, and it may surprise you and invoke certain emotions. So if you get the chance, definitely check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, there was 10 hidden gems that I personally picked that you should play on the Switch. Down below let me know your thoughts and opinions, or maybe some of your favorite hidden gems. And remember, if you want to save some money on some games, my affiliate link is down below, and if you want to enter the giveaway, the giveaway link is below that. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you could, I'd really appreciate a follow, 
And you guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.